AVTV is the product of the AV journalism class produced for the students of Amador Valley High School. The views expressed on the show do not represent the views of AVHS teachers, administrators, or POSD personnel. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Dawns, and happy Halloween. Today is Tuesday, October 31st, and I'm Nishé. And I'm Fiona. Don't forget, Dawns, we have a special schedule this week. Today is a half day. There will be no school tomorrow. Thursday will be a normal Thursday block day with periods 2, 4, and 6. Friday will be periods 1, 3, and 5. Hey, seniors, don't forget that the final deadline for senior ads in 2018 yearbook is next Friday, November 3rd. Go to yearbookordercenter.com to purchase an ad. Attention club presidents, if you want your club included in the 2018 yearbook, please see your advisor and fill out the club info sheet for yearbook. These are due November 10th. Awesome. Well, now guess what we have, Fiona? A very special segment just for you, Dons. It's on Halloween, and it's the final segment in the haunted history of Pleasanton. And the location we are featuring is none other than Amador itself. That's right, Fiona. We have talked to Amador teachers, current and retired, who told all of us about the haunted D building. Who knows, maybe the D building was actually named after all the demons that haunted that building. Let's check out the following segment. Back in the mid-1880s, the area that is now Pleasanton was called Alisal, a town nicknamed the most desperate town in the West. It was the haunt and refuge of bandits and desperados in the era following the beginning of the California Gold Rush. Main Street shootouts were not uncommon. Outlaws would often ambush prospectors on their way back from the Gold Rush fields and then seek refuge in Alisal. This was the town that eventually became Pleasanton, California. In 1864, a one-room school was established. Though the school was eventually expanded, education in Pleasanton ended in the 8th grade until March of 1922 when Pleasanton residents voted to establish Amador Valley Joint Union High School. Much of the original Amador Valley High School campus buildings were demolished in 1968, making room to expand the campus and many of those buildings are still here today, including the Haunted D Building. This campus does get spooky at night, especially for the people who remain here, alone. No one knows exactly who or what haunts this building, but teachers and custodians have experienced the ghosts that haunt this building over many years here at Amador. So I'm in the D building and sometimes when it's really dark and late at night and there's no one else in the building, uh, I will be sitting at my desk working on my computer and I'll see someone walk past the back door when it's open and um, nobody's in the building. I go to investigate, nobody's there and sometimes I'll even set off the light because if there's a motion detector it'll turn on. So obviously no one walked by because the light would have gotten turned on um, and it's happened a lot. It still happens if I'm here late. And um, one time during class, um, a poster, it was a framed poster, was leaning against the wall on top of a cabinet. It fell down, but instead of knocking out everything that was sitting in front of it, it didn't. It kind of leapt over everything to fall because it would have knocked everything off in front of it, but it didn't. So it was quite creepy. The whole class was a little weirded out that day. Now, Miss Barnett wasn't the only person to see the ghosts at school. Mr. Hall told us a story, too. He said one night he was working really late at school, and the head custodian at the time came in and told him that the night custodian refused to ever clean the D building again. When Mr. Hall asked him why, he said it was because the night before, the custodian was standing in the walkway near the C building when he saw a person walk from Mr. Hansen's room into Mr. Hall's room. When he came over to see what the person was doing in the classroom there, there was no one there. He had just vanished. Well, Dons, there's obviously some really weird stuff going on around here at night when we're all gone. We hope you've enjoyed the Pleasanton's Haunted History series, and we hope you have a happy Halloween. Back to you in the studio. Dons, Amador Valley Drama is putting on a production of Up the Down Scare Staircase in the MP on November 3rd and 4th. Tickets are $5. I'll be there. 
Hey Dons, just a reminder to tailgate before the Amador vs. Foothill football game at Amador from 5 to 6.30 on the blacktop on November 3rd. Food trucks will be there. Now it's time for the number one scary movie of Halloween. This movie is of course the movie called Halloween. <laughs> what are the odds? Let's check it out. Well, scariest Halloween movies always have the good suspense, the slashers. Halloween was one of the best ever, and it involved this guy named Mike Myers. It's not the same guy as Austin Powers, who's not, you know, uh, the guy from those movies, but he's a real scary guy who killed his sister when she was a little boy, got put into a sane asylum, and then happens to escape on the night before Halloween. Mike Myers is a psychopath. He's one of the big slashers that came out. There was Psycho, and then soon after that came the whole strum of different slasher movies. He would go and he would stalk different um, teenagers, um, hide in the, uh, the bushes, hide behind the dark places of the house. Very suspenseful, very bloody, and for a time it was really uh, extremely gruesome. And to the point where some um, critics said, you know what, maybe this is glorifying bloody atmospheres and things like that. Today's world, I don't think I'd agree, but there you go. Now for a commercial from AV Film and Video Production. The African American Student Scholarship Program, led by Dr. Beasley, is now on campus every other Thursday. The AASSP is all about teaching you to becoming a powerhouse for college and excelling academically and socially in Pleasant schools. Come and participate. You don't even have to miss class or your lunch period because it's during access. Come join us on Thursday, November 2nd. You can pick up an access pass in M1 anytime. Come check it out. Here's our last commercial for today. Well, that's all we have for today, Don. Thanks to everyone who dressed up today. We tried to capture all of you in a Halloween slideshow that follows the credits. And remember, it's always a beautiful day here at Amador.